in the last dozen years, a thousand new magazines have been started up in this country. Only six of them are successful monthly publications today. Among them is Country Living Magazine, which is celebrating its 10th anniversary. For the last five years, Ad Week has named Country Living the hottest magazine of the year. Something that says a lot about the magazine and about the popularity of country style. Country is more than just a place. It's a state of mind. An escape for dyed-in-the-wool urbanites who flock there every year at this time, searching for more than full foliage. People's lives are so complicated today that they look to the country as a way to relax, to forget the workday week, and to live in the past in a safer time. Our homes look like grandma's home. When we were young and we were in grandma's house, everything was safe. And country living has presented this view. Country living is presenting both reality and a dream. The vast majority of the homes that appear in the magazine are the real homes of real people. But for today's photo session, the crew is creating an atmosphere from scratch. Design editor Jason Contos planned the interior from New York. Furniture and accessories all shipped ahead to the location. We've selected this house because when it was first brought to our attention, it reminded us of an old house. Uh, it had a lot of texture, a lot of stone. We're going to be calling this our weekend hideaway. And since we're in the middle of Vermont ski area, we decided to make it look like a very lived-in ski hideaway. And we brought in all the Adirondack blankets, the Hudson Bay blankets, all the things that um, one thinks of for the middle of the winter for making their living room cozy. I mean, this isn't, this isn't bad. This is really quite nice. Um, the idea behind the story is to show readers who haven't had things passed down through their own families how they can create a country look of their own, how they can duplicate the past. It's a time-consuming process. A shoot like this can take the better part of two days. Setting up the lights for just one shot can take one or two hours. Photographer Paul Coppolo takes a series of Polaroid prints until he's satisfied the lighting is just right. Once he's reassured on that score, things move quickly on to completion. Now just imagine he was coming to shoot your house today. We'll be back after the station break.